Hi guys, welcome to Five Nights at Candy's Remaster. We're going to play as much as I can. Family restaurant, Louis Security Guard on the night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monitor cameras and stress safety facility equipment of the tourism of the sport for any other user. Same thing. manager here at the restaurant. I'm supposed to walk you through the job as your security guard. From your resume, I can tell that you're already a well-experienced guard. But, you know, it's protocol, so I have to walk you through the basics anyway. So, let's get started. We have security cameras all around the restaurant, and if you bring up the camera panel, you'll be able to view the feed from each camera by pressing the camera button on the menu. Now, our lights are always off during the night, obviously, because it'd be a waste of power to leave them on. So to actually see something on the camera, you can activate the camera system's night vision mode. You activate night vision by clicking on the button of whatever camera you're currently viewing. So for example, say you want to see what's on camera 1. You bring up the camera panel, click on the button that says cam 01, and then to use night vision, you click on cam 01 again. Once night vision is activated, you click on any of the other cameras and view them with night vision as well. And you turn it off the same way you turn it on. Night vision takes more power than regular vision, so make sure you use it sparingly. Your first priority as a security guard here is to keep an eye on the animatronics. Those are really expensive machines, and we do not want them stolen. And you keep an eye on them through the cameras. We have quite a few animatronics here at Candy. There's of course the cat of Candy and Cindy, there's the chest of the chimpanzee, there's the penguins, just lots I tell ya. Uh, so, you also have three security doors in your office, each of which can be closed by pressing the door button by each door. These are here in case you're in some sort of danger, but personally I just use them to shut myself off from the world when I need a break. But don't let me be a role model on that one. You need to remember that closing these doors takes power, and the longer they're closed, the more power they drain. Now, I know that sounds kind of backwards, but you have to trust me on that one. I think it's something about the doors having an automatic fail-safe feature in case the power gets cut off, you know, so they open up if there's no more power. All I know for sure is that they do use more and more power the longer they're closed, so you don't want to keep them closed for too long at a time. Now, uh, the reason I keep mentioning the power is because the restaurant uses a backup power generator at night, which only has a certain amount of juice in it. So anything from viewing the cameras to using the security doors takes power. You can see how much power you have left on the computer on the desk in front of you. Try not to run out of power. If you do though, you won't be stuck in the office since the doors will always open up anyway. Oh, and uh, one last thing. The animatronics aren't completely turned off at all, so they might start walking around a bit. But just be careful not to let any of them into the office, because we have stuff in there we don't want damaged or anything. Though, don't bother with the ticket booth door. They won't attempt to get in through there. That should be all. You'll hear from me again on your next shift. Have a good night. Take a break, man. We had some family fun party with him. Oh, what's that news say?
my ID bag. Um, Four AM seventy seven percent. All right, we're only going to do night one right now, just because I got to go do stuff in a little bit, so I only have enough time for one night. Bam. If only I had to close the door once. video because I gotta go like I said stuff. see you in a little bit